Hey folks, Sebastian here, showmeout.com. Uh, a few weeks or months ago, I showed you our audio setup. Today I'm going to show you our video setup, how we approach it. Um, I know there's different people that are doing lessons, online lessons, and there's so many different ways of doing this. Uh, I know the most, I think, probably... One of the most economical ways is to use a program called ScreenFlow. And then you can record your elements. You pull them in together and line them up. And boom, you're, you're done. Uh, when I started doing this, I guess I wanted a system where I can record it live, all the components live. So I'm going to show you just briefly my approach to it. Um, like I said, there are many different approaches. Maybe this will give you some ideas how to approach it, or even in the comments you could tell us how you approach it, how you do it. But um, just wanted to share this with you. As you can see, the program allows you to have the chords, you see the pedals, you see the real keyboards, and then you have the MIDI up top, and then you have the picture or video of the person. Now, there's also a setup I have for piano also, but this kind of makes things a lot easier because it allows me to run things real time. Now, if you look over here, don't worry about that mess over there. Those are just the keyboard covers so they don't get dusty. Okay, you saw the audio setup. Now, above the audio setup, you have the keyboards and you have two Mac Minis. One that runs Cordy, one that runs Mediculous. I run a dual line system out of whatever instrument to supply MIDI because I kind of like both programs. I like Mendiculous, how it has notes above the keys, but then I also like how Cordy does. So I use both of them. Runs into this program, this uh, vid screen switcher that allows me to pull everything together. Now this is the same thing you saw over there, but this is the program that pulls it all together. You have, that's the pedals, that's the real keyboard, that's Mediculous, that's Cordy, and that's the picture of the person. It combines all of that, and then it feeds it up to another switcher that allows me to switch between each instrument. Excuse me, not each instrument, but each uh, picture setup. Also, we run a program that runs wirelessly on the iPad that allows me to select which screen that I want to use. Now, I just want to let you know, there's many ways of doing this. Many, many ways of doing this. So, that, that was just an idea to just open up your mind for different approaches. Because like I said, I know there are different people that are trying to teach online and they want to do this, but there's so many different ways of doing it. Um, I guess I, I would be amazed because I guess when we started doing this, we were kind of left to our own imagination of how to approach it. So it's like when some people share how they're doing I'm like wow I didn't even think of it that way but um hey if you get a chance share let us know how it's done I don't have all the answers I just have the way I do it show me that.com we're out